So the idea here is I want to find values for a and b to maximize this integral. If I'm going to do that, I really need to know what a graph of this function looks like. So you could pull that up on Desmos, but I'm going to go with this is something that we should know how to at least sketch a quick graph of. If I have y is equal to 6x minus x squared, if I were going to graph that one, I know it's a parabola because I've got an x squared. I know that it's a concave down parabola because of the minus sign in front of the x squared. And if I had to graph it, I would factor an x out. I now know that my graph has a a zero at zero and a zero at six and that it's a concave down parabola. That's actually all I need in order to maximize this integral. Getting back to something that I mentioned before, if I think about my integral starting to the left of zero, then no matter where it starts over here, that area between the graph and the x-axis would be below the x-axis and count as negative. If I'm trying to maximize this, I don't want any of that negative part, which means I definitely don't want to go to the left of zero. At the same time, if I go past six, it will also be into territory where this area over here, since it's below the x-axis, would count as negative. I don't want to include any of that negative if I'm trying to maximize the value of the function. So a should be zero and b should be six. I'm not seeing any questions in the chat. So I've got, I've got another one. So you're welcome to type in either a homework problem or a topic that you want me to go over into the chat. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep writing problems. No questions. Okay, I am looking for giving the maximum and minimum values for this integral. This gets down to one of our theorems from the textbook, which says on the interval from zero to pi over four, whatever this function is, I know that we can estimate and put bounds on the actual area by thinking about this as the width of the interval, which from zero to pi over four, that means the width of my interval is pi over four. That minimum bound is going to be pi over four, width of the interval, times the minimum value of f of x on the interval 
0 to pi over 4. That would be my lower bound because this is my base and the smallest possible height. I'm just repeating the, just copying that integral down again. And at the other extreme, again, the width of my interval is pi over four. So that would be the base of essentially a single rectangle. But now I would multiply by that by the maximum value on zero to pi over four of our function. I don't have a clue what this graph looks like, but I do know what's happening for tangent between zero and pi over four. So if we think about all of the values of tangent between zero and pi over four, whether you're a unit circle person or like me, I'm gonna kind of think about what a graph of tangent would look like. Tangent of x has these asymptotes at negative pi over two and pi over two, and it almost looks like a cubic in between. Well, this tells me the tangent is an increasing function between zero and pi over two. That in turn tells me that I'm gonna find my minimum value of f of x when x is zero, and I'm gonna find the maximum value of f of x when x is pi over four. Making my lower bound, if I plug in zero for x, that lower bound is gonna turn into pi over four times the square root of nine plus seven times the tangent of zero. If I think about my graph over here, tangent goes through zero, zero. So that would be zero for tangent of x. I'm gonna be lazy and not copy down the integral again. And over here at my upper, at my upper bound, because tangent is strictly increasing on that interval, I'm gonna be plugging in pi over four to our function. So I'll have the square root of nine plus seven times, and tangent of pi over four is one. We can clean up both of those. There is most definitely an expectation that you've got those nice trig values memorized. So zero times seven, I get zero. Square root of nine is three. So my lower bound would be three pi over four. And my upper bound, nine plus seven, I'm at 16. Square root of 16 is four. Those fours will cancel out, which means our upper bound would be pi.